Hey guys, welcome to the Bose. Today I'll be talking about Surreal Gone. So as we all know, Surreal Gone became interim champion a little while back when he beat Derek Lewis in his hometown of Houston. It was a stellar performance. He completely outclassed Derek Lewis and overall he just looked like the complete package. He's so well-rounded and so technical. It's a real beauty to watch him fight. And his control of distance is why he's able to beat a lot of these guys too. He's always controlling the distance. There's still a lot more everyone would like to see from Surreal Gan to see what he's all about. We want to see him fight Nganu, and if he could beat Nganu, we want to see him fight Jones, maybe even Stipe. Those are the fights that we need to see. But my question is this, could Surreal Gan possibly be the best fighter in the world right now, pound for pound? I think it's a legit hypothesis you can make that he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world right now. Obviously, it's unproven because there's still fights that we need to see him have before we can say that. For one, we still haven't seen his wrestling abilities as a whole, really. We've seen him take guys down and stuff, but not really against elite wrestlers. We haven't seen him stuff takedowns against elite wrestlers, so we'd all like to see that. Also, he hasn't beaten Nganu. He hasn't fought Jones or any of those guys yet. John Jones, if John Jones is thought of as the best fighter of all time, which I would say he probably is as of now. Could Surreal Gone beat him at heavyweight? I think it's real possible that he could, actually. I honestly don't know who I'd favor in that matchup, Jones versus Gone. Both fighters always control the distance in every fight they've had, so it'd be interesting to see who would be able to control the distance if they were matched up against each other. It doesn't really make sense right now, but I would have also liked to see Gone go up against Curtis Blades to see how he'd do against a really good wrestler like that. But again, it doesn't make sense now because Gone just destroyed the guy who knocked out Curtis Blades so it doesn't really make sense now so obviously the next fight to make now at heavyweight which is in the process of being made right now is Gon versus Nganu who is the undisputed heavyweight champion but right now my initial thoughts not thinking about it way too much yet is that Gon's gonna win I think Gon's gonna be a step quicker a little slicker and we'll be able to control the distance and that's why my initial thoughts are is that he's gonna beat Nganu the thing is Surreal Gan's not going to have the same type of athletic and speed advantage that he had over Derek Lewis, the same way he'll have that over Nganu. Nganu's faster than Lewis and more athletic than Lewis. So that may open up more opportunities for Nganu to come in and hit Gan with one big punch and put him out, which is very possible as well. He just needs one nice shot to put him completely out. And Nganu's technique has been getting better and better. Francis has been looking very good, especially against Stipe. He looked way more technical, and he looked a lot more technical than Derek Lewis has looked in a very long time. And Nganu's looked more technical than he himself looked in his previous fight against Rosenstreich. It looked like a completely different person. So if he can bring that guy back, which he probably will against Surreal Gan, then he can have success. But I would still favor Surreal Gan as of now. All right, guys, that's all I got today. Leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think will happen in the matchup Gan versus Nganu. Let me know who you think will win. Do you think I'm underestimating Francis Ngannou's abilities? Or do you think I'm overestimating Surreal Gan's abilities? Because he doesn't have all that much experience, but he looks like he's had all the experience in the world. He's had a lot of kickboxing experience, but in terms of mixed martial arts, he only has 10 pro fights. Is that enough experience? Does it matter? Or is he just a freak of nature? And just someone who understands it and understands martial arts and understands distance control and just has all the tools to be world champion. And if Gan beats Nganu, can we honestly say that there's an argument for Gan being the pound for pound best fighter in the world over Kamaru Usman and John Jones? Because if he does beat Nganu, I think that's a real argument to be had. All right, guys, till next time, peace.